The events of the autumn of 2023 changed the reckoning experience of forever. Earthquake storms, which uh, didn't result in eruption, but caused the fear and destruction in the town of the Grindavik. Cracks opened up in the ground and people have to evacuate. 4,000 people. We try to fill up the gap because the land rise and the fall, subsequent fall, was causing fear and a death actually happened. A worker disappeared into one of those hollows. People have now settled elsewhere, the town of the Grindavik, as a place that is actually sinking. And that's the reason the harbor exists there. Will not return to the way it was. I think the future of the Grindavik is that the houses that people have abandoned will be bought by the businesses. And they will use it as a sleeping uh, places for the crew and employees. Maybe even the workers will come from foreign countries to settle in those areas. It will be like a dormitory. People will stay the week and for the weekend will dispatch to other places, towns like uh, Reykjavik and other places nearby, for their families. That will be like the life for the lorry drivers. The town will be a thriving port and it will uh, actually may even be better in that sense because the health and safety regulations for the work environment are slightly less restrictive than what it is for the living environment. We have it, in, the, for example, in the radiation and radioactive uh, uh, environments. For the work, we have 400 sievert, for example. For the uh, residential area, 200 sievert. So these differences may actually make it possible for the businesses actually to claim all the properties in that area and use it as a employee's houses, residential parts for them, not for the families, but for the uh, employees, and then they can go elsewhere during the weekends, go seeing their families, even if they want to commute during the week, that is up to them. But this is the future of it. We will have pathways cleared up for and marked for the people who want to actually to live there. And some areas will be abandoned, probably changed to, you know, uh, parks or wildlife sanctuaries, things like that. The harbor is actually going to extend. This is the future of the Grindavik. It's not going to change for whatever it is. We have this uh, rift valley opening up there. We have these rifts extending to the sea. The tide and the earthquakes are shaping this uh, beautiful port and the future lays there. Volcanism is the main danger for the Swartzengi uh, geothermal power plant and the nearby community and future of the Reykjavik uh, uh, and Reykjavik Peninsula. This is the area we have a lot of volcanic system. The last one of it was in this area, creating the lava flows which eventually in the last stages of this eruption, this is a K1 volcano, reached the geothermal power plant. Our defenses around this area actually helped us to hold back the lava. Although we had breaches, we are now learning to make them higher and taller and thicker. And that is also the way that we have to work in the, for the future. We have other volcanic systems in that area. We are already continuing to do this in the uh, sourcing geothermal power plant. This is for today. You can see that we are rising the level of the wall. Other ge uh, uh, geological features and the volcanic systems in that area, we can apply the experience we have learned from there. This volcanic system exists there because of the rift in action due to the extension of the mid -Atlant Atlantic ridge. And we have seen examples of it in the, in the past in the Fagodestrial eruptions, which may one day you know, uh, extend to the north or nearby neighboring uh, volcanic systems. That means we have to have plans in place in the case that these eruptions happen again. And they are going to happen because we had extension in the Fagodest field, we had extension in the Swartzengi volcanic system. And now we are seeing evidence for that, that the other volcanic system in the neighboring areas may become active. We can use the experience we have learned about the walls, building defense walls and berms 
lo locating people, moving uh, people from away from the path of the lava, and such things to build a better future, prepare for it.